For this week's product showcase, we will see how processing can be a powerful tool for understanding and visualizing accelerometer data. You can find the Arduino and processing programs in GitHub repository links below. Let's take a look at one of the many ways you can assemble the ADXL 345 with the drawing board. I use a way of just putting on a simple header pack and pulling off the separator. This can be kind of tricky, so be careful not to bend the leads. Once you've done this, you can prepare your drawing board by putting a piece of tape. I've custom cut one just to clearly separate so there's no unintended electrical connections. Then you can put them on the back and as you'll see they slide together perfectly. They should be a perfect match. I'm going to solder this on the table so let's take a few looks at some of the techniques that we want to use including the first solder joint. The first solder joint is going to be our anchor point. So what we do is apply the solder that we need and leave the iron on it. Then while the metal is still hot, we use our other hand to place it and allow it to set as the anchor, holding it in the position that we want, which is a nice flat connection. Even with the board, try to keep our axes parallel. Then we can turn it over and just simply continue with the rest of the solder joints. And once we've done this, we'll likely want to clean off the extra leads that we have sticking out off of the drawing board now. And the way that we do that is with any clippers, flush cutters would work fine, but we want to be careful not to cut the flush all the way down to the board. We want to cut just above the Hershey Kiss, the solder joint. That way we don't risk cutting the actual joint off of the board. Repeat that with all the remaining, and then we've got a nice clean finished product. I've included a 3D print model in the section below. You don't need it, but it's going to help us visualize what we're looking at here. So what I'm going to do is simply line this up so Y is going away, X to our right, and Z up. And then with the board facing down, we'll have a very close match to those axes. You'll see in the print model that I've put a hole for the screw. It needs to be a very tiny screw. In fact, I drilled an extra hole to make room for this larger screw. It is matched up perfectly to the length for this configuration of the board. Keep in mind you can mount the board for the ADXL 345 completely separately and wire them to wherever your main board, the drawing board, is located. Once we've got that mountain set, we're ready to plug in and take a look at our processing program. First you want to upload the Arduino program and then line it so that the y-axis is away, the x-axis to the right, as if it were laying down on the on the face of a table, and the z-axis directly upward. Our only force is gravity, which is 1g directly downward. So we can see we've got a negative 1g force on the z-axis right now, and x and y, which are perpendicular to the force of gravity, have zero. If we spin it around the z-axis, what we'll find is that there's no change other than the tremor in my own hand to the results on our data. This is because the z-axis is parallel to the force of gravity. If we change and try, let's say, the x-axis, if we rotate around it, we'll see y and z change at a 90 degree offset. So as y starts to head into the negative direction, it'll start to have a positive force from gravity then it'll plane out to zero again, and as it points away from gravity, it'll have a negative 1g force until we loop back around to the set position. Now we'll try looping around the y-axis. As you can see, the x-axis never changed, and then this time, other than my own hand, the y-axis should be very close to zero as well. Do keep in mind that in whatever configuration you have, one axis will be inverted. In this configuration, it is the x-axis. So as it starts to point downward parallel with gravity, it should be a positive force, but it instead shows a negative 1g force. Once we return to the axis, we can look back on the graph and see the 90 degree offset, where the apexes of one line with the zero of the other axis. As you can see, this program can be very useful for setting up a new sensor on any kind of project that you might have. 
Look at dbboards.com to see other cool projects and tutorials just like this one. And as always, happy hacking.